So you may have seen the recent uh, video which has been released by the BBC regarding CBD. Uh, it's a girl who's going around and she's looking um, to consume CBD to help her anxiety. I'll just show you the clip now. I've had anxiety for some time, but I'm a mum to a three-year-old little boy now, so it's something I'd like to see the back of. So yeah, as you can see, she's trying to uh, use CBD to combat uh, anxiety. I've been using CBD for some time and I've had some great results with it. It's been able to diminish my anxiety uh, to a lower state. So yeah, I'm not saying it's a miracle cure, but I have personally seen some potential benefits. And yeah, I, I believe that is a good product for anxiety. It's one of the most searched things about CBD is will CBD help my anxiety? Uh, that's probably the most common element which people are trying to use it is for a mental health uh, issues. So yeah, uh, I highly recommend it um, for, for, yeah, for that use. Um, as the video goes along, she sees a farmer. Uh, I'll show you a quick clip of that now. How legal is this and when does it get to the point where it becomes illegal? We are perfectly legal because we're licensed by the Home Office to produce okay. hemp straw. We're not allowed to harvest the leaf and flower, so we have to leave the leaf and flower in the field. And what do you do with the leaf and flower? Do you just leave it, it goes here? goes to waste. Or... Right, okay. So the bit we're throwing away is the part of the plant that the CBD has been extracted from. It frustrates me somewhat that yeah. the, all the CBD producing companies in the UK are allowed to bring leaf and flower in from abroad, but we can't produce it at home. Yeah, from that clip you can see how frustrated the farmer is about not actually being able to use the hemp flower to extract CBD. So he's losing out on a profit. Also, the UK, we're losing out as potential tax and domestic income which can be earned from extracting CBD from our own hemp source. Uh, it's a bit of a shame really that we have to export it from uh, countries from Eastern Europe and America. Uh, just think of all the CO2 emissions and pollution which is actually caused by that where you know we could locally source it ourselves and really hopefully soon we'll see a change in this law. Uh, yeah, and as the video goes on, um, I'll show you this little clip now. Are all CBD products in the UK tested and regulated in the same way that we're doing now? So, in theory, yes. For every product released in the UK, they would need to comply to labelling standards. They have the correct amount of CBD that they're advertising within their product. If you'd ever want to check, a supplier should be able to provide you with a certificate that says, we've had it tested for this batch, this is what's in it. We ran a series of tests on the product and identified that the THC content within the product was just over four times uh, the legal limit. So the legal limit is uh, one milligram per container and we identified just over four milligrams in this, in this product. So in that last part of the video, you've seen how that particular product managed to slip through the net with four milligrams of THC in it. It's not a lot of THC, probably won't do much harm to her or harm to us. But however, it shows how the market is not strict enough with its regulations and products are slipping through the net with low percentage of CBD in it. Um, THC within it, especially if you're an athlete, let's say you've been taking CBD and you're kind of training and due to the restrictions within the sports, there's barriers which stop you from uh, having THC in your blood. Um, so if you brought a product which said THC free in and it's not advertised, well that's what it's advertised and it's not that, you know, you could be pulled from the sport and that's pretty terrible. So yeah, companies need to be stricter um, with their testing and make sure they are transparent. You need to be transparent and post and be honest with your consumer. Make sure they can see your test results Make sure it's easy and simplified for them to digest. And I think that's what's really needed in the market. Just going back on the earlier point um, with regards to sports and levels of THC within it, uh, I know there are a few testing kits 
which I think it works out the pH or something within your uh, CBD or and it will uh, change the colour and indicate if there's levels of THC within the product. Um, I don't know the full science behind it, um, I need to do more research but if you're a consumer who's doing sports and are worried about THC, there are testing kits which you can use personally. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little quick content, um, this little comment on the video. There's more to come and yeah, all the best, have a great day.